And hello, everybody, and thanks for the invitation. I work at national level with Astrid Vicente from the National Institute of Health. I'm the representative for the OnePlus MG for the Ministry of Science, uh, where this Astrid is the representative for the Ministry of Health. Um, so population, uh, Portugal is also not a big country. We are around 10 million people. We have a national health services that is mostly that is universally universal and mostly free, and we also signed the declaration of cooperation in the first wave of countries in April 2018, uh, and well, very soon after that we established a national mirror group that is now set by official decree from the Ministry of Health. Uh, and we have uh, a national mirror group representatives that contribute to all the working groups of the OnePlus MG initiative. We have a dual role uh, at, at this moment because we are both the representatives and contributing to the OnePlus MG initiative, but we are also working on the Portuguese strategy for genomic medicine. And in this sense, the, the, the European initiative of the OnePlus Million Genomes was key because it definitely raised awareness from policymakers on the absolute need of having a structured development of genomic medicine in Portugal. So this was very important for us. Although we already have some positive uh, initiatives at national level that can give a, a better context for this implementation of a future genomic medicine. So some examples, uh, we do have personalized medicine and biomarkers as one of the five key dimensions in our thematic agenda for health, uh, looking into 2030. Uh, we recently created uh, an agency for clinical research and biomedical innovation for which I work for, and this is an interministerial commitment between health and research, which uh, hopefully will foster also our, our efforts. Um, we have the commitment from the Portuguese Association of Hospital Managers and also the Portuguese Medical Association on the development uh, of a strategic agenda for precision and personalized medicine. And we also have several research infrastructures currently working in, um, in very leading approaches for precision or personalized medicine. So I think the context now all the pieces are setting, moving together so that we can really start working uh, on the direction that I will just show you. So a bit of the building blocks we have uh, regarding genomics in clinical care. We do offer genetic services for diagnostics and care, mostly for rare diseases and also for cancer. Uh, the downside is that these genetic services generally operate um, independently. So there is very little articulation and very little sharing of resources, in part because our data infrastructure needs to be improved. So we provide whole exome sequences, gene panels, and arrays, um, but not yet for the clinical practice whole genome sequences. This is being done uh, now at, at the level of research, although with, clean, with close synergies um, with, with healthcare. Regarding cohorts and biobanks, so the National Institute of Health has population cohorts derived from epidemiological studies. And we have a national uh, network of, of biobanks. Uh, that has human samples, mostly from diseases and coming from research partners. Genomic labs, what do we have? We have a national network, which is Genome PT, that includes over 50 genetic diagnostics and research labs. They operate independently, but they follow common standards and their guidelines. They have been essential in promoting synergies between research uh, and, and healthcare in Portugal, and they are currently setting up for whole genome sequencing. And last but not least, in terms of building blocks, our health data infrastructure. So the most important part of it uh, is with the Ministry of Health, uh, in particular with the shared services of the Ministry of Health, SPMS. They are the national provider of systems and technologies, everything that relates to the to health data. Uh, they are very much involved also in all the European discussions, initiatives and projects regarding health data and digital. So they are an instrumental partner in, in, this, uh, in this national endeavor. 
And we also have biodata.pt. They are the, the Portuguese uh, note of Elixir, and therefore they support the national scientific systems and also offer the Elixir services at national level. So these are our building blocks that we now have to put together uh, in order to, to be able to implement our national strategy for genomic medicine. This means that we will have to leverage all these existing resources. We have to work on, the, on an improved integration. We have to invest in literacy and also in education. We will have to define new genomic medicine policies. We will have to revisit legislation and to promote synergies with research and ultimately contribute to promoting economic value. This is a general overview of, of the concept. I will not go into details for the sake of time. The most important goal is the benefit for the patients and citizens. And the center of this concept is the genomic and clinical data. And around this, this, um, this uh, nucleus, uh, we have several data-related services that are important, critical for data acquisition, data management, data analysis, ultimately returning back to the patients and citizens and feeding into the one plus million genomes initiatives. In parallel, we will have to work across a number of uh, cross-cutting cross -cutting, um, themes that uh, mostly, mostly have been already pointed here uh, in the previous presentation and are common to, to all of us in, in each of our countries. This is the, the composition of our mirror groups, nine mirror groups. Basically, the leaders of each mirror group are people uh, from the, the, the organizations that I have just mentioned to you uh, before. We have been meeting very regularly um, in the last months because we, are start, uh, we started working more intensively in the Portuguese strategy for genomic medicine. So this is uh, an overview of, of what uh, we have planned. We are currently we, with the National Mirror Group working on the Portuguese uh, strategy for genomic medicine on a roadmap. This will feed into a pilot project of the genome of Portugal, which will then later all feed into the implementation of the national genomic the national strategy for genomic medicine. So regarding this genome of Portugal, we want this to be a pilot for the concept of the national strategy on genomic medicine, PT MedGen, so to use it as a test for the overall structure that we are planning. And it will also be the national contribution to the ongoing uh, project uh, for genome of Europe. I think, as you all know, we are now building on the, um, trying to build an European reference genome cohort that will gather around uh, half a million genomes from the general population of European countries, which together with another half a million genomes from coming from the clinical will build up the, the big cohort of the one plus million genomes. So we are working on this front at national level too. I don't think this is anything new because I think that most countries suffer from the, the same pains. So our current needs, challenges and recommendations are definitely to have political support, interministerial political support. That's a, a front where we are working very uh, extensively. Um, we need to have the, the proper legislative framework and to have uh, all the information, education and literacy for policymakers, healthcare professionals and citizens. citizens and as for other countries, we also need to work on a strategy for sustainability. The support from the One Million Genomes Initiative has been crucial and we will still need uh, uh, to, to have this support in different, uh, in different fronts, namely guidelines and standards, also for the best practices regarding ELSI and uh, also uh, a focus on the alignment of very important alignment of, of funding programs and policies at EU level so that we can do the sharing of uh, genomic and health data at the transnational level. And thank you so much.